against Alan Grayson and Suzanne Cosmos, you know, all those people have been looking out for your money. Yeah, right. Guys, we're going to do uh, the opponent here in a little bit. He's running against Suzanne. Uh, Jim, come on up here, man. Jim's from the local area, by the way. Jim and I know people because I was born and raised here. He does get Ted Turner, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, I would say I can put pictures of you on my website make money, but I think I'll get a lot of hate mail. So come on up here and tell us what's going on, my friend. The check is in the mail. That's yeah. right. Look, uh, th I am back home. Uh, boy, it feels great to be back in Florida. Let me get rid of the Ted Turner business real quickly. My wife and I, when we go to, down to Atlanta, Herman, the upside is we get the best seat in the house. Of course, the downside is everybody expects me to pick up the tab. <laughs> Look, it is great to be back here. I grew up down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I think we called it Fort Lickerdale in those days when you were youngsters. I'm a University of Florida graduate. I used to broadcast a DBO radio here in Orlando, and I used to write for the Titusville Star Advocate. Yeah, you know that. Wow. It's a great to be back here. Look, I want to mention Obamacare. We senior citizens know what's coming. We're angry or upset about it. And what are the difference between us and the AARP, the Association Against Retired Persons, I refer to from time to time? Because, look, they're a Fortune 500 conglomerate making a lot of money on insurance, etc. And so I started this group about 18 years ago to counter them. We're selling one thing, a limited government, less taxes, and adherence to a document called the Constitution of the United States. One other difference between us and them, they uh, tout a guy named Harry Belafonte. He's a great entertainer, Harry Belafonte is, but he likes to hobnob with Ahmadinejad and Cesar Chavez. Our spokesman at 60 plus, you may have heard of him, Debbie Boone's father, a guy named Pat Boone. And Pat Boone likes to talk about his friendship with Ronald Reagan. Look, let me uh, just say one thing about health care. You senior citizens, I give a tribute to you because about a year ago, when they started trying to get that 2,000-page monstrosity through, it was seniors all over this country who were saying, back up, stop, don't do it. They went ahead and did it anyway. And seniors, one other thing, too, that I remember as a former Marine, and I guarantee you this, there's a lot of veterans sitting around here, men and women alike. I believe you were called un-American back then. Remember that? Un-American. One of the most despicable things I've ever heard in my life in 48 or 50 years in Washington, D.C. Men and women who fought in one service or another of our, of our armed forces and you fought on distant lands to give her the right to say that. I'm not going to mention her name, but her initials are Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and i got to tell you right now, senior citizens are on the march. There's a tsunami. It's a senior citizen tsunami. It's headed toward Capitol Hill. And unless it subsides, there's going to be a lot of folks looking for a new line of work come November the 2nd. And look, we're nonpartisan. Mainly Democrats are going to be looking. There are going to be some Republicans, too, unless they get their act together. So uh, I'm here to tell you to keep seniors inspired, keep going. Uh, again, uh, we've got a lot of work to do between now and November 2nd. It's an honor to be back home with uh, Tim Phillips, of course. I haven't seen him in a while, but Herman Cain, who's a hero to all of us, of course. And I'm going to give an award, lady, to uh, an, an award in a little while to, uh, if I could go ahead and do it. Sandy Adams is uh, running for Congress. You mentioned earlier against uh, Suzanne Cosmos. And uh, I'd like Sandy, if she doesn't mind, to come up here in a moment and get an award. We give, uh, we give seniors awards, pro-senior awards, to those that we think are deserving it. Look out for seniors. And again, in this case, uh, our spokesman, Pat Boone, that I mentioned a while ago, uh, he put out a statement singing the praises of Sandy Adams. And he, as chairman, I'm here today to personally present to her the award. So, uh, Representative Adams, if you'd come up, please. And... Okay, thank you, Sandy. And we'll get my truck back on the program here. Thank you. Man, everybody's working for WDBO and Dave Craig. What's up with this thing, man? A little inside radio joke. I like to, you know, you guys can. You never notice these are these are non-politicians, and they're only taking like four or five minutes to talk. I mean, I, that's.